we want to be able to identify the end behavior for polynomials. That is, the behavior as x goes to plus infinity and x goes to minus infinity. To do that, we will look at the behavior of simply one term, y equals ax to the n. First, let's look at even powers of n. So our most basic even power of n is y equals ax squared. So we have this nice shape here where we see that we're going off to positive infinity in both directions. Here, let's note that a is positive. Now let's increase our power. If we look at a x to the fourth where a is positive, we see that we have a similar shape, but steeper at the ends and flatter in the middle. What happens if a is negative? Well, the graph for a x to the fourth with a negative is inverted, where now our ends are going to negative infinity. So for n behavior, that is, the behavior as x goes to positive infinity or x goes to negative infinity, we see that even powers of n give us that the n behavior is both going towards plus infinity or both going towards minus infinity. What happens with odd powers? So let's explore odd powers of n. Let's start by looking at y equals ax cubed. Again, a positive. So we note here that we travel from minus infinity up to positive infinity for ax cubed. When we look at y equals ax to the fifth, again a positive, we have a similar shape, but again steeper as we're getting to larger x's and flatter right here in the middle. When we take a negative coefficient and look at y equals ax to the fifth with a less than zero, we flip our graph around and see that we're going from positive infinity down to negative infinity as we travel from left to right on our graph. So for n behavior, we see that one n goes towards plus infinity while the other n goes towards minus infinity. Now these graphs are rather flat here in the middle, as you see in all of these graphs, and what you'll see in general for a polynomial with multiple terms is a graph that looks more like this with bumps here in the middle. But even given this graph, we should be able to identify whether the highest power on our graph is even or odd based on the end behavior. Since we have our graph going to negative infinity as x goes to minus infinity, and going to positive infinity as x goes to positive infinity, we know that this is a graph of a polynomial with the highest power that is odd.